Hey everyone, Pix here. Welcome back to more Crisis Score. I have been putting in so much work. I currently have max HP, as well as I have capped out my vitality and spirit stats. Yeah, those stats over there actually cap at uh, 255, as you can see. And with the combination of Zach's base stat and my current materia that I have equipped right here, I was able to essentially achieve max defense as well as max defense against magic. So yeah, this is as defensive as Zach is ever going to get. I also have a combination of status ward. So this materia will actually negate the effects of whatever materia I currently have equipped. So if you remember our health and dog inflicts poison, silence, stop, and death. And uh, the same thing with Helpless Zaga, but this will also in inflict stun. So essentially with this combination, I am immune to just about every status effect. Yeah, every status effect. I also have Quake here because it's a rather useful area of effect attack, as well as the best materia in any Final Fantasy game. This is Costly Punch. Yeah, okay, so this will take away 1 64th of Zack's HP, which is nothing uh, compared to, like, like for what it does, it, ironically enough, it um, is not very costly at all, especially with our defenses and all this HP we have. Yeah, this will do the max amount of damage to whatever it hits. And since we have Brutal equipped and our damage limit is set to 9,999, 999. This will always do that over and over again. The max amount of damage just destroying nearly everything in the game for just like just a minor amount of health. It's ridiculous. So yeah, this build is very defensive. Uh, it's actually pretty necessary for an upcoming fight. But that won't be until a little bit later on. I could go into detail about how I achieved uh, getting all these stats on all of my materia, but that would take a while, and we'll talk about that a little bit later on so this intro doesn't drag on any longer than it already has. But yeah, these are also our current uh, accessories. Of course, we have the HP and uh, damage breakers, but we also have the protect ring, which will always keep barrier and magic barrier active as well as uh, the wizard bracelet, which will absorb fire, ice, and lightning. So, needless to say, currently Zack is very strong. <laughs> I'm level 97. Yeah, I have uh, done a majority of the missions in the game. And yeah, uh, let's go ahead and start things out here. Check it out, dudes. We're in Nibelheim. I don't think we can actually go into any of these houses here. Why are you wearing the mask? It's personal. Weirdo. True. Look how duty is so boring. Do you want to practice the usual? Do you want to practice? Practice? Oh, the posing. Soldier members must always be conscious of their public image. Right? So, how does it go again? Like this? Hey, that's quite the improvement. I don't have any particular desire to join Soldier. Okay, well, fair enough. Hey, kid. You guys sure are dressed strangely. But we're no strangers to strange things in this town. In fact, we have what we like to call the town's Seven Wonders. Are you interested? Definitely. If you're interested, you have to find out for me whether they're actually wonders or just hoaxes. The first wonder is... Lately, the town's drinking water has been coming out red. Could it be... blood? Aw, oh, scary. That can't be right. Can it? Once you discover the secret of this wonder, come back and tell me. Okay, so we can actually climb this uh, water tower or I forget what, exactly what they're called. But if we look inside, oh, there's a red material here. The color must have seeped out into the water. And this is how we obtain the Phoenix materia, the final materia. You've collected all DMW panels. You've obtained a Fury Ring. 
Yeah, the Furyurine is nothing too special. It would just uh, make it so Zack will do a counter attack when an enemy hits Zack. So, uh, the real prize is when you 100% the entire digital mine wave, but that won't be for a while. Let's, uh, tell the boy what we found. There was a materia in the water supply? Aw, oh, it's not exciting at all. Oh well. But now, listen to this. The next wonder has to be real. I get goosebumps just thinking about it. Before I begin, have you seen the painting of the girl on the second floor of the inn? Nope. Well, go take a look right now. Second floor in the inn. The wall opposite the bed. It's a sad and kind of eerie painting. So I'm getting the heebie-jeebies, dudes. The little girl is gone? Dude, that's way too spooky, dudes. Yeah, okay, we have to follow this guy back to the room, but we can't let him see us. So we have to be very patient here and wait. You have to catch him in the act, dudes. Oh no. You found it. This is very embarrassing, but I keep a nest egg that my wife doesn't know about. I had the money behind paintings and whatnot. I sometimes use it to go gambling and end up losing it all. Alright, so you keep a nest egg. Why does the painting change? Oh, this is actually a two-sided painting. One side has the girl sitting in it, and the other side doesn't. At my age, it becomes hard to remember things. So sometimes I forget whether I have any money saved up or not. When the girl is there, there's Gil. When she's not there, there's no Gil. Pretty easy to remember, right? It's kind of like a memo for me. I hope you'll do me a favor and not tell my wife about this. A nest egg? What is that? I don't understand grown-up stuff. In any case, I guess this means it wasn't a wonder after all. Well then, how about this next one? Mister, are you still up for more? Most definitely. Okay, on to the next one. Third wonder involves a little danger. You know Mount Nibble, right? The dangerous mountain with all the monsters. Well, the most dangerous monster there are the bombs. Now, rumor has it that one of the bombs is different from all the others. No one has seen it yet, but they say it has a different face. So this is where you come in, mister. You have to go find solid proof that this different kind of bomb exists. They say he drops a special kind of item. If you can get it, then bring it to me. Anyway, that's the uh, third wonder. Yeah, okay, so uh, here we had to have a little detour. You guys will be able to see costly punch in action. At this point, we don't really have to worry about much here. Alright, so this is Costly Punch. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty gnarly. Let's see how much health that took away from Zack too when we get into another fight here. It's like very small. It's a very minor amount. You can barely notice it. Yeah, let's try to hug the walls so we don't have to fight any of these little enemies. But yeah, here it is, dude, Mount Nibble. Yeah, we're looking for a fireball monster similar to that guy. Yeah, but he has kind of like a... God, so much damage. He has more of a burnt face. They do like four damage to Zack. <laughs> With my current material setup. You can talk to these kids. They'll just talk, tell you about what you're kind of looking for. Not very necessary. These guys with health and Daga. Even though I have zero magic investment. Like, I'm so high level. Pretty sure I'll one-shot anything regardless. Yeah, this is the bridge that uh, Tifa and Cloud fell from. That's right. Isn't that cool? I love coming up on little things like that. You 
Yeah, he did for it. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, Costly Punch is really good. The caveat to using it is it has quite the long startup time. So in certain situations, enemies will be able to hit you before you can actually use it. But yeah, in this area, we should be able to find the... Yeah, these guys. This is exactly what we're looking for. We're looking for a certain drop from them. Uh, something like gold. A gold something. Like a gold shard, I believe. Yeah, gold shard. There it is. Yeah, so we are going to take this gold shard, take it back to the kid, and we will learn about our next wonder here. But yeah, um... <laughs> I just can't help it. I don't know. If I feel like I can show off something cool... Like, I want to do it. And I think we'll attempt Minerva at the end of this chapter. Yeah, Minerva is the hidden secret boss in this game. Uh, yeah, she's something else. She's pretty cool. But everything else just kind of falls over to Zack at this point, and it's kind of hilarious. Especially, like, considering it's hard mode. Everything just dies. <laughs> Yeah, the one thing that sucks is you can only, uh, you can only max out certain stats. Some people might find that kind of limiting, but I think the game gives you such a excellent variety of builds that you can go for. You can go for, like, max magic, max HP, whatever you like. And I really haven't done a great job of showing off just a large variety of builds and, like, different materials. That you can use in this game. Got Ultima, it's not very good in this game. Yeah, it's just pretty much a flash. You're not miss missing much uh, by seeing it. I would draw off Quake, but uh, Quake does not affect flying enemies, so it'd be pretty much pointless on anything we find here. Speaking of pointless, everyone's dead. Oh, do Phoenix! Phoenix, please. Aw, oh, Dane. Lame. That's right, you guys have yet to see, uh... You know what? Uh, yeah, that's right, I haven't even shown this off to you guys. There are certain material you can equip that will make it so you encounter certain digital mindway portraits uh, more often. Yeah, so I got the one for the Tonberry, since you guys have yet to see them. And maybe I could try to trigger one here. Yeah, I'll just try to do that here for a little bit. But yeah, once you have it equipped, um, they'll be a lot more likely to show up. Yo! Those two spooky dudes. There we go. Okay, you guys finally get to see Tom Barry. Murderous Thrust. <gasps> Watch out, Zack! No! What? <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? That is so funny. He was going for Zack the whole time, but he tripped on a rock? <laughs> I love this game's sense of humor. Oh yeah, master it out my murderous thrust material too. That's right. That's right, I put max HP on this too. Yeah, I, I got a system where everything was um like so easy. So easy to max things out at this point. But yeah, we'll go more into that later, so we're not here forever, just explaining menus. Oh yeah, uh, Rebirth Flame. Rebirth Flame. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the other one that you guys haven't seen. You haven't seen a thousand needles yet, have you? That's right. I'm trying to show off everything I possibly can here. Yeah, okay, so we'll go for Rebirth Flame so you guys could see it. And then, you haven't seen Chocobo. I actually unlock a shop. Mm, Bone Village Commerce, Hellfire, Mega Flare, Zatenzukin, X Flare, yeah. I guess we'll just have to get lucky with the um, Chocobo wine. But yeah, then I'll uh, have showed off all of them in the game, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to stand here and let Zack get beat up by this bird for a bit and just hope it happens. Here we go, finally! Nice! Hey, let's check this out. Rebirth Flame. First time I'm seeing this one too.
This is so sad. I can't believe this game is on PSP. It's so clean, dude. Wow. Oh, you are ugly as bird, though. <laughs> So I believe this will give us a free raise. Yeah, yeah. It will it will inflict raise on us? Inflict. It will give us the raise buff, I should say. And it will do all that damage. So yeah, pretty useful thing right there. That took me forever. Yeah. Still at 50% with Sephiroth. So what are we missing now? Uh you guys have yet to see you haven't seen Magic Pod either. That's right. So we're missing Cactar, Chocobo, Magic Pot. Bomber! Yeah, Magic Pot is a strange one. It will actually give us a random rare item. Yeah. And depending on the level that we get of the DMW, it will be like more rare. It usually equates to like Elixir or a handful of like Phoenix Downs or stuff like that, yeah. Uh, okay, so a Thousand Needle. Alright, I'll try it. I'll, uh, at least be able to show this one off. Hopefully it doesn't take forever. <laughs> Let's see in a sec. Nice! Okay, we got him. That didn't take too long at all. 1,000 needles, everyone. I love this little guy. <laughs> Such a ridiculous attack. Nice. Yeah, so that's, uh... That's Cactar. Pretty funny. This game's so quirky. I know I've seen its praise uh, very often. I know it has its problems, but yeah, check it out. All of our uh, because of Moogle, all of our stuff is mastered now too. On top of everything, nice. I wonder if health and Doggo looks any different. I doubt it. Okay, and with that, let's uh, let's head back to that kid. He's been waiting for that shard for so long. <laughs> it took me a while to proc the Phoenix. Ah, oh, yeah, I went, I went the wrong way here. That's fine. Uh, yeah, there's like a little optional area we can go right here and, you know, we got a couple chests. Although it doesn't matter to me too much. I, I have found a way to get like easy money and easy spirit points. Like, no problem. So, what are you doing out here with the monsters, my boy? <laughs> He's just casually chilling. There's like giant fireball demons just all over the place. This man does not care. Oh wow, it's a gold shard. It really did exist. Guess that was a real wonder. Well, as a token of my appreciation, we get a safety bit. Maybe this means the fourth wonder is true too. There's rumor about a laughing safe. Does that sound scary? You brave enough to investigate too. Sure, we've come this far. Do you know about Shinra Manor? It's an old mansion in back of the town. We call it the Haunted Mansion. Anyway, they say there's a safe in this mansion. And every night, you can hear laughter coming out of it. But no one knows the code has opened the safe. So we can't check what's inside. So the fourth wonder is the Laughing Safe. You have to somehow figure out the code to open the safe and find out who was laughing in there. Alright, so we got a hell of a mystery. This is probably the most difficult puzzle in Crisis Core. There's really not, like, too much. It's actually somewhat linear, I suppose. But yeah, we can head to the mansion here. And this is all optional. We don't have to do this. Dude, we got mail. Are you Nibelheim about now? I've got business in another freezing locale myself. By the way, I couldn't help but notice you were reading Loveless while you were at Costa de la Sol. That was Genesis's favorite work, wasn't it? So, have you finished it yet? I bet you got bored of it in the middle and just tossed it away. But there's a stage production of Loveless now playing in Midgar. Let's go see it when you get back. Who knows, it might just give you the hint you're looking for. We got fireballs. Yeah, how much does this do to our health? A thousand damage. <laughs> like, essentially, right? Shinra Manor. Hmm. 
<laughs> the piano with the off chords. It's a very interesting uh, puzzle here. How many chairs? One, two, three, four chairs. Okay. Look through the keyhole. We got one. One enemy that I can see so far. Yeah, this will all uh, matter here in a little bit. These guys do vanish. They're little trolls. There can be like up to seven or nine of them in here and they like keep vanishing so it's hard to keep track C. Yeah, but they'll come back eventually. But that seems to be only one. So how much was that? It was four in one? I think so. On to the second floor. Let's go over here first. Have a look through the keyhole. And we got books. We got some books that aren't on the shelf. We got one over there. As well as two, three, four, five. So we got five books that aren't on the bookshelf. It was a very interesting puzzle. It's uh, all randomly generated. So it'll be different every time. So you have to figure this shit out. And we got ourselves a Benora apple. One Benora apple. Yeah, just one Benora apple. Uh, yeah. The green potions do not count. Okay, so let me think. First digit, knowledge overflowing. That was five books. Second digit, un unwelcome faces. That was the ghost. That was one face. So five, one. Tasty reminders of home. That was one Benora apple. Five, one, one. Resting on all four feet. It was either four or five. I don't remember. I think it was five, one, one, five. Really? Five, one, one. It must have been 5114. Not- Wow, dude. I did that in record time. That's sick. That takes everyone so long to figure out. <laughs> Cactar. So that was somebody's pet. You know who that is, Zach. He just helped us with this thousand needles. And with that, we get a fully mastered... Vital Slash, yeah. Honestly, for how difficult that puzzle is, I made it look easy because I knew what I was doing. But that takes everyone so long to put everything together because you have to go explore and see all the keyholes and stuff like that. And for just a mastered Vital Slash, people get like pretty upset. But I think it's a pretty neat payoff. You got the characters running around outside. And yeah, that puzzle is randomly generated every time. So yeah, isn't that interesting? <laughs> I love I love stuff like that. They really like make you work to actually learn it. You can't just look up the code. <laughs> all right, and uh, yeah, that's it. That's all uh, we have to do in the Shinra Manor for now. Let's head back to our little uh, amigo that we met over in Nibbleheim. See what he has to say about this next wonder. Pretty interesting little side quest. Cactar? Oh, that's all it was. Guess it got trapped in there, huh? Maybe it wasn't laughing, but was actually calling out for help. When you think about it that way, maybe you did a good thing. Okay, now we're getting to the really good stuff. The fifth wonder. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. This wonder's really spooky. It's a mystery from deep beneath the earth. Did you know there are caverns underneath Shinra Manor? Well, you can hear these blood-curling moans coming from deep within. To get down there, you have to use these secret stairs from the second floor of the mansion. They said a soldier guy called Sephiroth has the key. Uh, there you go, the fifth wonder. Go check it out for me. Okay, and with that, let's uh, go ahead and 
ask Sephiroth about this secret key situation. What are you looking at? This landscape. I'd have sworn I've seen it before. Tifa, you're our guide. At your service. Say cheese. Here's the photo. Nobody's better guide than me in this town. But it's too dangerous. Can't get you involved in something like this. She'll be fine if you protect her. Stay back. It's just knocked out. I could wake up and start chowing you down. Use screens wear, tear, and rust. So usually I hit it with a blunt shot. I want to go inside and look too. This is a top secret facility. non shinra personnel are not permitted inside. But, keep the young lady safe. Genova. Interesting. The door is sealed, of course. Genova. This is the cause of the malfunction. This section is broken. Zach, go seal the valve. Why did it break? Soldier members are Mako infused humans. You're enhanced, but you're still human. But then, what are those things? Their Mako energy levels are exponentially higher than yours. Are they monsters? Yes. The Shinra scientist Hojo was the one who created them. Abominations spawned by Mako energy. That's what monsters are. You said average member. What about you? <laughs> hey, hey, Sephiroth! I knew ever since I was a child. I was not like the others. 
I knew mine was a special insistence. But this... This was not what I meant. Am I... a human being? No such luck. You are a monster. <laughs> Sephiroth. You were the greatest monster created by the Genova Project. Genesis! So you are alive! I suppose I am, if you can call this living. What is the Genova Project? The Genova Project was the term used for all experiments relating to the use of Genova's cells. My mother's cells? Poor little Sephiroth. You've never actually met your mother. You've only been told her name, no? I don't know what images you've conjured up in your head, but... Genesis! No! Genova was excavated from a 2,000-year-old rock layer. She's a monster. Sephiroth, I need your help. My body is continuing to degrade. Soldier first class, Sephiroth. <laughs> Genova Project G gave birth to Angeal and monsters like myself. Genova Project S. S? used the remains of countless failed experiments to create a perfect monster. What do you want of me? Your traits cannot be copied onto others. Your genes can't be diffused. Therefore, your body cannot degrade. Share your cells with me. My friend, your desire is the bringer of life, the gift of the goddess. created to deceive me or the truth that I have sought all my life it makes no difference you will rot I see perfect monster indeed when the war of the beasts brings about the world's end. The goddess descends from the sky. Wings of light and dark spread afar. She guides us to bliss. Her gift everlasting. No! Uh, stop! No! Cloudo! Damn you! Damn it! Take your time, Zach! Have some of this! And one of these! Oh, you barrier all you want. Yeah, uh, <laughs> this ignores all defensive buffs as well. In all defense, it just, it just hurts. He tried to protect me. I know. Tifa, stay close to me. She doesn't even know it's Cloud. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and have a nice save, okay? It's about time. <laughs> yeah, we haven't saved all day. Oh god, no, not a bird. It's way too spooky. Oh, watch out, Tifa. I think <laughs> it's like exactly where they were. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we gotta take our friends to safety, dudes. We have to fight a path. I miss. Embarrassing. But yeah, this is pretty standard stuff. We just gotta defeat a group of enemies and then they'll be a little bit further on. We don't have to walk them every which way. As you can see right here, once these enemies are defeated, they'll be a little further ahead. Or a lot further ahead. Yeah, don't wait up, guys. I know Cloud is very injured, after all. This is one thing that's like... Remember those kids from earlier? That we saw here? Yeah, the... Okay. It's fine. I, I'm standing in spawn. Okay. Yeah, those kids are still here. Oh god, you guys... Oh yeah. They actually will wait for you. Yeah. I miss. Ow! Okay. If you want. No, I hope we don't get something cool. Because everyone's dead already. If right. You wasted my time. Damn. Alright. Let's carry on, dudes. Cloud is injured. Nice. Damn Genesis clones, my dudes. Yeah, see, they're just here. They don't care. They don't go for the kids. <laughs> it's fine. Get out of the way, birdos. Yeah, we gotta take Cloud back to the end so he can feel better, dudes. Finally, some more Genesis clones. Just find these birds. We're almost there. Alright. Damn you. Hey, I got him that time. Damn, I should have shut off Quake when I had the chance. That's fine. There'll be more. Stop hurting me, birdos. Conflict resolved. Okay. Gotta save. That was very difficult. Alright. We will be in danger today. Don't worry. <laughs> Where did Sephiroth go? Something the matter? Sorry, I can't tell you. I'm not surprised. Last round of town about Sephiroth. Thanks, Tifa. Tifa's safe. Don't worry. If only I were soldier. <sighs> Zack? Soldier is like a den of monsters. Don't go inside. What happened? I don't know, man. I thought I knew. Ah. 
By the way, do you know Tifa? Sort of. Talk to her? No. I'm sensing some issues here. Shouldn't you do something? I'm one to talk. I'm with soldiers, so fighting's all I do. Sorting things out is someone else's job. What's going on? Who's the enemy? It makes no difference to me! <sighs> hey, Zach. You know, I've never seen you use that. Use brings about wear, tear, and rust. And that's a real waste. You're a little more important than my sword. But just a little. <laughs> Embrace your dreams, and whatever happens, protect your soldier honor. This is a symbol of my dreams and honor. No, it's more. That's right, I had almost forgotten. Thank you, Cloud. Huh? Right! I'm gonna crash. Night! Let me get a little bit more rest. Sure thing, man. Okay. Now let's head out. Do we got mail? If you'd like. Hey, do you want to come over to my house? I want you to try my mom's cooking. Thing is, I haven't been home yet since I've been here. I haven't been able to make up my mind about it. I decided that I should show my face. Coming home alone is a bit uncomfortable, so I was hoping you could join me. Huh. Uh, is that guy alright? I'm a little worried, because it looked like we got hurt pretty bad. I'm glad you were there, Zack. Thank you. I've heard of Soldier and how tough they are. Hope we can talk a little bit more about Soldier one of these days, because there's something I want to ask you. Yeah, she's looking for Cloud, man. Damn. Sephiroth is apparently at Shinra Manor. That big mansion? Yeah, Shinra has owned it for a long time. Back to the mansion we go then. Here at Red Leather, we have received numerous reports of Genesis sightings. If Genesis does indeed live, despite being reported as killed in action, he has perhaps solved the riddles that surround the gift of the goddess? Genesis can never do wrong, and he deserves our support. And I suppose Red Leather is the new uh, combined Genesis fan club. Hello, Aerith. I finally got through. Yeah. Uh, listen, now's not the best time. I'll call you later. No, no. You don't have to. Okay. I'll come visit. I'll be here. I'll see you. I promise.
Earth, just wait for me a little while longer. Shinra Matter is up the stairs straight ahead, to the left. Come with me. Right, we gotta follow Cloud, dudes. No, he's a ghost. <laughs> yeah, okay, uh, that's right. I didn't really show it off. There's like this uh, obvious, like, uh, hidden door. Kunzel, working hard at your assignment, I assume. I guess it was longer than we thought it would be. I thought I'd look after Aerith while you were gone, but the Turks were already their gardener. I don't know why. Anyway, she says the tire came off her flower wagon, and now the thing's useless. I offered to fix it for her, but she refused. She's waiting for you to come back and fix it. So hurry up and get back here already. All three of the flower wagon cards broke, everyone. Of course. Yeah, that's right. Sephiroth. I don't get him at all. Is everyone in Soldier like him? Oh, are there any blonde guys in Soldier? Well, it's just a dream. Any girl would love to have a blonde Soldier guy protect her when she's in a pinch. Well, it's no good just waiting for my blonde knight in shining armor to show up. So I've started learning how to fight myself. My teacher tells me I've got a knack for it. Her knight in- her blonde knight in shining armor, everyone. Yeah, I guess Zack doesn't really use the buster sword, huh? No, yeah, he's punching them, of course. I'm just doing as Sinjil said, everyone. Let's head back into the spooky manor. I'm actually going to go ahead and create a save here. Yeah. Shall we? Sephiroth apparently went to the second floor room to the right. Hello again, Zach. I heard you were on assignment with Sephiroth. Remember you were trying to get in touch with him. So I'm guessing you can finally talk to him now. I also heard Sephiroth handpicked you for this assignment. With the main soldier first gone missing and Sephiroth not being the type to look after his subordinates, I am thinking it's you who's going to lead us. We're moving up the chain and I'm following you until the end, Zack. Well, Zack is getting quite popular, isn't he? I almost forgot. Please don't tell anyone in Soldier that I asked for the blonde guy. Okay. <laughs> Tifa. Yeah, okay, that should be right over here. I love this. It's like a little horror section. What's up, Cloudo? Something's wrong with Sephiroth. The door to the underground passage wasn't locked. I think he went in, but... Alright, we gotta go investigate, dudes. I love the atmosphere here. I like that they don't change the, the music, too. We got Coffin Keys. Yeah, this is actually essential for what we're doing here next. We can get multiple Coffin Keys. I think they're just like random drops from these guys. Yeah, as you can see. It's a great way not to break the feeling of tension to just have this music uh, playing constantly in the background here. Yeah. We got three pairs of coffin keys, everyone. Nothing but a Soma here. Nothing too interesting, but that's fine. I wanted to make sure, just in case I went to the wrong place, I had plenty of coffin keys, so. But yeah, now that we uh, have those, we can actually head down here. Might be a little tricky to find on your first go, but you can see there's a ladder here. Heading into the deep undergrounds. Let's uh, go there. It's getting mighty spooky, dudes. I'm getting nervous. Alright. Alright, well, we'll be fine, dudes. No one's a match for Zach. He is soldier first class. After all. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, check this. It's a talisman. Let's look in here. Won't open. I guess I need these coffin keys. Is someone sleeping in there? Maybe. 
I should leave him alone. <laughs> yeah, okay, so wonderful. That solves that mystery, everyone. Nice. Yeah, the good old Vincent, everyone. Of course. Isn't that cool? Yeah. If we go in here, if we check any of the other uh, coffins, they'll just be bugs. Just be bug monsters while out to fight. We don't have to worry about them. I just came in here to grab this uh, extra X potion. But yeah, there are like multiple like little rooms here that we can check out the coffins if we so wish. But yeah, that's all we pretty much have to worry about. And now let's uh, let's head into the spooky underground lair. We got some monster lizard men here, Conflict dudes. Resolved. Conflict resolved, everyone. Life form and status suspended animation. Excavated from a 2,000 year old stratum. Professor Gast named this life form Genova. Genova verified as an ancient. Genova project approved. Maka reactor one authorized for use. My mother's name, Genova. The Genova Project. Could this be a coincidence? Professor Gast, why didn't you tell me? Why did you die? Sephiroth. I would like to be alone. What do you tell to someone? Who thinks that they're a monster, you know? What do you say to that? No! From that day, Sephiroth shut himself inside the Shinra Manor. Proceeded to review document after document like a man possessed. Lights in the basement never went off. And on the seventh day. This is awful. Cloud Sephiroth. I'm coming to get you. Damn you, Sephiroth. This is awful. I know one fan club I'm quitting. How could you, Sephiroth? How could you? Damn you, birds. Now is not the time for this. Oh, dude, I think we'll see gnarly ass monsters too, I believe. Yeah, you guys haven't seen these scenes. Look how horrifying they are. Twin claws. Yeah, I see them all the time in missions, but they're gnarly, huh? Deadly Embrace. Yeah, those guys definitely look like they could have a move named Deadly Embrace. Got mail. 
Zack, where are you? Sephiroth said the set the whole village on fire t venner dad went chasing after him you've got to stop them yeah so Zephyrus snapped here and he uh set fire to nibelheim in a fit of rage right going to the reactor Damn, man. God, yeah, look at this thing, man. Wow. That did 29 damage. Aerith, help. I need this. Damn, dude. Activating combat mode. Got him. Mithril gloves, huh? Okay, now is definitely a, a point you want to save. One hundred percent. Tifa, no! Sephiroth did this, didn't he? She's afraid of everyone who's soldier now. I hate you. I hate Shinra. I hate soldier. I hate you all. land mother Sephiroth why did you kill the townspeople why did you hurt Tifa answer me Sephiroth <laughs> <laughs> mother they're here again you should have ruled this planet you were stronger Smarter, but then they came those inferior dullards They came and took this planet away from you But don't be sad mother I am with you now At last, mother. Sephiroth, have you completely lost your mind? Sephiroth, I trusted you.
Let's go. Got this music. Uh, Angela, I need you. Please. This would be a very nice time for you to sh Okay. Nice. Got him. Yeah, Zach's a little overpowered. Sorry. No. You're not. You're not the Sephiroth I once knew. I am the chosen one. I have been chosen to rule this planet. If you are driven to the edge, the game is over. So yeah, if we uh, fall off the edge, we will die instantly. Got him. you cloud finish Sephiroth off
Cloud. You did it. This one here, intriguing, most intriguing. He'll make a fine test subject. You call yourself soldier? You tarnish the soldier name. Angel! <clears throat> Wait! Those wings. I want them too. Cloud. Now this is a procedural failure. Soldier first class. Summary. Desired effect did not occur. Strong tolerance to Genova cells due to soldier conditioning assessed. As caused, Shinra infantrymen, weak tolerance to Genova cells led to toxicosis. Lack of response to outside stimuli suggests severe system damage. Recovery highly unlikely. So they did experiments and uh, and and tests infusing both Zack and Cloud with Mako and Genova cells over the period of years. To the point where clouds in he's comatose uh he does not under it, it didn't have as much of effect on zach because he's a soldier member he is used he's built a tolerance to all of the genova cells and mako poisoning he he uh it, it didn't affect him like it affected cloud that's why in ff7 <laughs> that's why in ff7 cloud uh is so confused Dresser key. Hmm. Take all of their gill. Here I am, banished in this remote country town. Came all excited about participating in Professor Hojo's top secret experiments. Now they tell me the procedure is already ended. They won't even tell me what the procedure was. What am I doing here then? Well, as long as I work under Hojo, there's a chance to move up. So I'll have to be patient. Alright. 
Should be safe. Let's go. Yeah, they found Zack and uh, Cloud such in, uh, in terrible conditions. And instead of going to help them, Hojo, being the evil guy he is, took them and started to experiment on them. Wait here a minute. I have to go clear the way. Yeah, we have to clear a path. Yes. I believe this is our first instance of actually running into enemies that can cast death on us. Yeah, these guys can, uh... I've seen them way early on in the missions, but yeah, they can, uh... I don't know if these particular ones can, but those type of enemies will cast death on us. Instantly killing us if we don't have anything that resists it. Uh, it seems like a very appropriate type of enemy for a place like this. Uh, oh, this man does not care. Let's see, will you cast death? I didn't really give him much of a chance. Okay, sightings. We continue to receive reports of NGL sightings. Contained in this update is the most credible information we can deliver to our former club members. A large man believed to be NGL was spotted in the church near the slums. Seen alongside him was a woman wearing a white one-piece dress. Could it be that our Angel is seeking sanctuary with a mysterious girl? We wish he would show us that he is alive and well. Alright, now it's safe. Of course, we're not going to just leave Cloud, right? Zach wouldn't do that. So he takes Cloud in his comatose state. And, uh, breaks him out of here. Wait here a minute. Gonna go clear the way. And we're still here in the manor. Fellow Genesis fan club members, our annual memorial event is coming soon. Of course, with all the witness accounts that keep pouring in, it won't be such a mem memorial for Genesis as a gathering to wish his full-fledged return as for our always popular goods for sale, this year we have prepared copies of Loveless Bound in custom leather. Look forward to your attendance and don't forget to buy your special Loveless. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, there would be another um, Zack fan club uh, mail here. I don't have it right now, but there's only one more after that one. And I'll share them both at the same time at the appropriate time. Research Diary number two. The town was apparently set on fire intentionally. No one has been filled. No one has filled me in on the details, but it seems the other researchers came to town with Professor Hojo. All perish in the fire. That's why I was sent here. Now only Professor Hojo and I will be working on the project. What a thrill it is to actually witness one of Professor Hojo's experiments firsthand. Not interesting. This is official notification of the change in status for the following personnel. Sephiroth, Soldier First Class, killed in action. Zack Fair, Soldier First Class, killed in action. Two infantry men were also killed in action. I don't even have the decency to give them names. Or speak their names. Today we have a message from our chairwoman that we would like to share from our members. Sephiroth will never die. As long as I live, so will he, at least in our minds, but fret not, because I have a plan. I shall let you know when it comes to fruition. You look forward to that day. Chairwoman H. Her style of writing is rather stiff, but her message is encouraging. See you next time. Tell me they're lying. Got an announcement from General Affairs that you were killed in action, but those announcements are never true, are they? Where are you? What are you doing? 
did you have to do for the company to reclassify yourself as a dead man? Let me help you if you're in a jam. Talk to me. Be waiting. Good old Kunzel. Playaga, randomly. So we got some spooky ghosts, dudes. We gotta be very careful. Uh, Alright. Uh, what's this? Uh, researcher's diary number four. Finally release samples into the town. They walk all around town, but do not seem to want to leave it. Furthermore, two of them are still in their pods. Again, no explanation is provided to me. Could the procedure have failed? No. Impossible. Professor Hojo... Professor Hojo's experiment don't fail. Samples into the town. Process of rebuilding the incinerated town has begun. The construction is somehow being overseen by the Turks. Would have thought that city planning would be in charge of that, but some ponytail Turk has been coming around asking to speak to Professor Hojo, but he is routinely turned away. He refuses to say what he wants to see him about. Leave the Professor be, Turk. He has important work to do. Yeah, okay, so Shinra, just like they did with Benora, rebuilt this town put fake people in it to cover up that they had any involvement in the matter and our friends from the Turks freaking sane was trying to uh trying to find Zack was trying to find he knew that Hojo was up to something he was like there's no way Zack would just go missing so it was like asking around yeah, this is the point where everything starts all falling in together. That's right. Activating combat mode. Damn you. Zach's been through enough. Oh yeah. Conflict resolved. Every day I send reports regarding the status of the samples, but the samples never show signs of change, so there's nothing to report. The only joy I receive is in caring for the two failure cases. Now they understand me. I often tell them my troubles. Of course, they don't reply, but... You know, lately I've been thinking. Caring for these samples isn't so bad. I think I'll just spend the rest of my days here. Trying to bed. Okay, and that would it. That, that would do it. We got new missions, you say. Yeah, we do. We got a whole bunch more. Yeah, okay, so that's it. That's Crisis Core for today. I'm sorry to end it when it was just getting good. It's a long ass video. It's, uh, it's getting good though, huh? Yeah, it is. Okay, dudes. That's about it. Hope you enjoyed. We'll be seeing you. The shit's about to go now. We got two more chapters to go. Two more chapters, girlfriend. Take care of yourself out there.